It's time for an exercise now. In this exercise, we're going to try out some of the concepts we've learned in this unit. And we're going to be doing this by using a list of person objects. It's going to be a custom object, uh, a custom class called person. We're going to create a list of those objects and we're going to try out a few operations on that list using the Java 7 way and the new Java 8 Lambda way. So I'm going to create this class here. I'm going to say new class. I'm going to call this unit one exercise. So this is going to be a starting point for you to work on. Um, I have a main method here. And uh, this is where I'm going to be adding some stuff. And I will expect you to implement uh, some of these steps using lambdas. So I'm going to create a person class first, because we'll be using that to create our list. So this person class is going to contain a bunch of uh, private variables and public getters and setters. So let's say I want to have something like a name, a first name, a last name, and an age. I'm going to spare you all the typing. I've just copy pasted this stuff. So it's basically three member variables, the first name, the last name, and the age. There is a constructor here which takes in those three member variables and then you know, sets it. So we can create these person objects easily. We have getters and setters for all those three member variables. And then we have a two string method, which prints out the person object in a nice format. Now this is what we're going to be using in our exercise. So I'm going to create a list of person objects, people. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize this list with the arrays.forList method. So the arrays.forList takes in a list of, I'm going to import arrays. It's going to take in a list of person objects and it's going to give me a list that I can assign to this people variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to call this person object constructor with a bunch of values. I've copy pasted these constructors again in the interest of time. So I have like a bunch of person objects being created with a first name, a last name, and an age so that it calls that uh, constructor here and it creates those objects. And this is, oops, this is arrays.asList, which is the method which takes in inline elements and it creates an object. Sorry about that. Okay, now I have this list here and what I want to do is I want to first sort this list by last name. That's the first step, right? So step one. Sort list by last name. And then step two, create a method that prints all elements in the list. And then step three, create a method that prints that have last name beginning with C. So these are the three things that we should do. That's this exercise, right? You have a list of people here. First, sort it by the last name, and then create a method that prints all those elements. You can actually call this here as a part of step two. And then step three, create a method that prints all the people which is the same as step two, but with the condition of the last name beginning with the letter C. So in this case, this would just be Lewis Carroll and Thomas Carlyle. Now, how you implement this method really depends on what approach you choose. You can either choose the Java 7 approach and uh, you can have inline uh, implementations of objects or you can do the Java 8 way and create lambdas. So what I'm gonna do in the next tutorial is try both of them out, right? I'm gonna have the Java 7 implementation and then I'm gonna have the Java 8 implementation so that you can compare and contrast. So this is the exercise, give it a shot. And I'll see you in the next tutorial where I'll walk through the solution.